Welcome to today's broadcast. No matter what kind of day you are having, please remember that God is big and He is good. He is bigger and better than you think. Now, how many of you out there have heard, ever heard the song, Wishing and Hoping, the hit single by Dusty Springfield back when I was fresh out of grade school? Well, we won't ever get into God's arms by thinking and praying or wishing and hoping. We get into the presence of God by faith. We read in Hebrews 11, 6. And it is impossible to please God without faith. Anyone who wants to come to Him must believe that God exists and that He rewards those who sincerely seek Him. The Greek word translated as faith in the King James Version of the New Testament is the conviction of the truth of anything. It is the conviction or belief respecting man's relationship to God and divine things, generally with the included idea of trust and holy fervor born of faith conjoined with it. It is the conviction that God exists and is the creator and ruler of all things, the provider and bestower of eternal salvation through Christ. Now we don't get into God's presence by thinking or praying or wishing and hoping. We get into the presence of God by responding to the conviction that God exists. And by responding to the conviction that He rewards those who sincerely seek Him because they refuse to live apart from His presence. We struggle, however, with faith because we try to operate in faith outside of God's presence. Can you see the apparent paradox? We can't get into God's presence without faith. And we can't operate in faith outside of God's presence. Faith, however, is not self-generated. Faith is Christ-generated. We read in Hebrews 12, 1 through 2. Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so, so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before Him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Jesus is not only the author, the originator, the initiator, the predecessor of our faith. He is the finisher, the perfecter, the completer of our faith. Jesus creates, sustains, and perfects our faith. We don't have to get our faith from some outside source. Jesus has already authored and distributed His faith to each of us, and we don't have to blindly attempt to use this faith. Jesus stands ready to sustain and perfect our faith to the extent that we will let Him. For more, please visit GiveMeThatMountain.org, and you have a wonderful day.